Okay, so you got some bad news. Your license has been placed on probation. Hi, I'm Lori Brown, nurse attorney with YourNurseAttorney.com. First, I want to give you the best chance of success to succeed while you're on probation. Keep the board apprised of your current address at all times. Make sure they have it because if they're trying to get a hold of you with a problem, you want them to be able to reach you. Second, make sure that you keep the board apprised of your employer information. The board needs to know who's your employer at all times, so keep them apprised of that. Now, whenever you communicate with the board, I always suggest sending it by certified mail return receipt requested. That way you have proof that you sent it to the board. You could also email the board. That's fine. Just make sure that you copy yourself on the email and make sure that you don't get one of the, like those mailer demons that it came back to you. And keep copies of your sent mail. Which brings me to my third point is to make sure you have a separate folder where you can keep everything that you sent to the board so that you have proof and the board can't come back and say, no, we never received that. Make sure you have proof of all that and keep that in the separate folder. And then the fourth thing is you may have to go to your employer and have them sign a copy of your final order. Now, I always suggest that you have them sign it and date it and sign and date each page and send it to the board. And that way the board can never say, well, how do we know that they read all the pages? It looks like they just signed the last page. Or how do we know they signed it within 10 days? Well, it's got the date on there. So it's really important that you have them sign and date each page and you take the responsibility to send it back to the board. Send it by certified mail or scan and email it. But again, make sure you have documentation proving that you sent it. If you want to send it by fax, that's fine too. Again, just keep the fax copy, cover copy sheet saying that it went through. Honesty is the best policy. Be upfront with a potential employer or your employer about any discipline that you have on your license. That's because you want their support and their help to help you get off probation. Now, if you're required to submit quarterly reports, there are two types of quarterly reports. There are reports that you may need to send to the board, and there's also reports that you might need to send to ISNAP. Either way, you are responsible for getting these reports, not your employer. Yes, your employer has to fill these out, but you're the one responsible getting them to the board. So if your employer won't do that, you need to make sure that they do because you're the one whose license is on probation, not your employer. If your employer forgets or just doesn't do it and you don't have proof or copy of that, then it's your license on the line, not your employer's. It's your responsibility. Um, I can't stress that enough. And I know if you're on the peer assistance monitoring and have to submit reports to them as well as the board. It's sort of double duty, but they're two different forms and the board, um, you need to comply with the letter of your probation. And if that's what they require, again, it's your responsibility. And I know it's a lot of work for your employer, but if, they, if you're doing a great job for them, they'll certainly want to keep you and help you with this. Anytime you communicate with ISNAP or the board, as I've said before, keep a copy yourself and send it certified or email it, make sure you get it, you have the sent mail, or fax it and make sure you have the fax confirmation. So you have proof that you've done everything you're supposed to do. Now another important point that I wanna make here is even if you're not on iSnap, the board considers that if you use controlled substances that you could be impaired and they may pull an inspect report, in Indiana at least, and they can track all your controlled substance prescriptions. If you are on controlled substances, you might want to get off um, and talk to your doctor about it because you don't want any hitches when you're getting ready to get off your probation if they pull your inspect report and find out that you are on controlled substances. I know as a nurse and we work these crazy shifts that you might have trouble sleeping and I know when you go to the doctor, the first thing that they might prescribe is Ambien. Um, or if you are having pain, it's not relieved by Motrin because we are walking the floors for so many hours a day. Um, the first thing they give you is hydrocodone. But again, those are controlled substances. And if the board sees a continued pattern of long-term use, they may have concerns over it. And I just don't want you to have any hiccups in trying to get off your probation. Now, if you have any fines um, required by your probation order, make sure that you pay those right away and I know money is tight but it's important to get these paid and send them by um, certified mail with um, a regular one of your personal checks 
That way you have proof when they endorse the check that the check was paid. You want to keep everything that you send to the board in that separate folder that I mentioned. Now here's something that most nurses don't um, understand. That number seven of your license renewal, I'm sorry, question number one of your license renewal states, since you last renewed, has any professional license, certificate, registration, or permit you hold or have held been disciplined or are formal charges pending in any state? Well, you have charges against your license. You have probation, you're on probation. You have to answer yes. And you're probably thinking, well, the board already knows that. You still have to answer yes. So don't make that mistake on your license renewal. Make sure that you answer yes and say whatever the cause number is and that your license is on probation. So here's a couple of pointers to help you be successful with um, your probation. First is, since the board no longer sends out notices of renewal of when your license is due, put in your calendar or your smartphone um, October of the even years for LPNs, the odd years for the RNs um, to renew your license. And that way you get that reminder telling you to renew your license. Um, secondly, if you are on, in iSNAP and you have to submit um, every day check and see if you have a random drug screen, uh, set an alarm on your phone with a separate chime, different from any other chime that you use. You can set in your settings the type of ringtone that you want to remind you to check in to check if you are scheduled for a random drug screen that day. Just don't think to yourself, oh, I had one yesterday, I won't be called again. Don't make that mistake. Be sure to set an alarm and actually check in. Um, the, the Affinity program in iSNAP can check every time you've checked in and it will help you to get off probation when um, iSNAP testifies that you checked in every day like you were supposed to. If you have quarterly reports, again, set them on your iPhone ahead of time, calendar them. And then if you have AA or NA meetings, again, put it all in your phone. And that way you're setting yourself up for success so that when you are ready to go off probation, you have everything you need. You have every document that was ever sent, everything that you that you've done to show that you've complied with the letter so that it will make getting off probation easier. So if you have any questions about this, you know, feel free to call um, my number below or uh, email me. And um, I wish you the best on getting through your probation as um, successfully as you can. Thank you.